Hello everyone. Today we are going to see a problem based on analysis of a bar using stiffness matrix method. In this analysis, we have to find the stresses. Also, we have to find the reaction. The Young's modulus is given as 200 kN per millimeter square. The bar AABB has the cross sectional area 400 mm square. The bar BBCC has the area 100 mm square and the bar CCDD has the area 200 mm square. Before starting the analysis, let us make the coordinates. The section AA is fixed, so there will be no displacement. In the sections BB, CC and DD, there will be displacements. Let us keep the section BB as the first coordinate, the section CC as the second coordinate and the section DD as the third coordinate. Let us see the formula to find the displacements. Delta matrix is equal to K matrix inverse into P matrix. Since there are three coordinates inside the P matrix and a delta matrix, we will have three values and the size of the stiffness matrix will be 3 cross 3. That means inside the matrix, we will have three rows and three columns. In this formula, now let us find the P matrix in the first coordinate and the second coordinate. There is no load, so P1 and P2 will be 0. In the third coordinate, we have a load 20 kN. So for P3, we have to apply 20. Since it is acting towards the right side, we have to apply the load as positive. In this formula, now we are going to find the stiffness matrix. For that, first we have to find the element stiffness matrix. First, let us make the element stiffness matrix in the bar AA, BB. Let us find AE upon L. Area is 400, Young's modulus is 200 and length is 1000. For AE upon L, we are getting 80. Let us multiply 80 with this matrix. When we do that, we will get this matrix. Our first coordinate is in the section BB. So let us denote the second row and the second column as 1, 1. Let us strike out unwanted column and row. In the section AA, there is no coordinate. So let us strike out the first row and the first column. We have only one member remaining that is K11. Now let us make the element stiffness matrix in the bar BB. CC. Let us find AE upon L. Area is 100 and the length is 2000. Young's modulus is 200. After the calculation, we are getting 10. Let us multiply 10 with this matrix so that we will get this matrix. In the section BB, we have the first coordinate. So let us denote the first row and the first column as 1. In the section CC, we have the second coordinate. So let us denote the second row and the second column as 2. Let us take the stiffness matrix elements outside. This is K11. This is K12. This is K21. And this is K22. Now let us make the element stiffness matrix in the bar CC DD. First, let us find AE upon L. Area is 200. Young's modulus is 200 and the length is 1000. After the calculation, we will get 40. Let us multiply 40 with this matrix so that we will get this matrix. In the section CC, we have the second coordinate. So let us denote the first row and the first column as 2, 2. In the section DD, 
we have the third coordinate so let us denote the second row and the second column as 3 now let us take the stiffness matrix elements outside this is k22 this is k23 this is k32 and finally this is k33 we have found the stiffness matrix elements from the bars ab bc and cd now let us make the stiffness matrix for k11 we have got two values we have to add both of them 80 plus 10 we will get 90 for k22 also we have got two values 10 plus 40 we will get 50 for k31 and k13 there is no value so we have to enter 0 let us apply other values k12 is minus 10 k21 is minus 10 k23 is minus 40 k32 is minus 40 and finally k33 is 40 in this formula we have found both of them let us apply them for this matrix we have to find the inverse we can apply all of the values in the calculator and get the inverse if you do not know how to get inverse in the calculator see the description below there is a link you can click the link and watch the video then we can multiply these two matrices after multiplying we are getting delta b delta c and delta d now let us find the stresses using this formula we can find the stresses first let us find sigma ab the young's modulus is 200 length of ab is 1000 we know that in aa there is no displacement so delta a is 0 and we have found delta b which is 0 0.25 when we multiply these two matrices we will get 0 0.25 0 0.2 into 0 0.25 we will get 0 0.05 for k we can apply 1000 finally for sigma ab we are getting 50 newton per millimeter square now let us find sigma bc length of bc is 2000 delta b is 0 0.25 and delta c is 2.25 after multiplying these two matrices we will get 2 Finally, for sigma BC, we are getting 200 Newton per millimeter square. Now, let us find sigma CD. Length of CD is 1000. Delta C is 2.25. And delta D is 2.75. Finally, for sigma CD, we are getting 100 Newton per millimeter square. Now, we are going to find the reaction in the fixed end A. For the bar AB, we have made the element stiffness matrix. We are going to use this matrix. We know the formula delta matrix is equal to K matrix inverse into P matrix. We know that delta A is 0 and delta B is 0 0.25. For K, we have to apply the element stiffness matrix for AB. Inside the P matrix, we have to enter RA and RB. Let us take this matrix on the other side. So the inverse will be eliminated. Now we can multiply these two matrices. After multiplying for RA, we are getting minus 20. That means it is acting towards the left side. Now we are going to end this session. Thank you for watching this video.